Hey guys, welcome to the 60th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the file class a little bit more. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a few lines of code. So once you have the button on your main form, just go ahead and double click on it. You're going to need to have an open file dialog and an if statement checking to see if the user actually selects a file in the open file dialog. You're also going to need to be using the system.io namespace because the file um, class is located in there. So once you have this if statement down, just go ahead and type file.copy um, because we're going to be looking at the copy method first. And the copy method will basically just copy a file to a different location. And the first parameter that we have to pass through here is a string called source file name, or this is going to be the path to the file that we want copied. And we want it to copy the file that we open in the open file dialog. We're just going to do OFD.FileName. And the second string parameter that we have to pass through is the path to the copied file. And we're just going to type it out right here. We want it to basically just copy um, this text document right here into folder 1. So we should end up with two text documents. And we're just going to have to specify where we want it to be copied to. Oops, yeah, we're going to copy this. Paste it right there. And like I said in a previous tutorial, we have to double up on these uh, on these backslashes right here because the backslash will allow you to have a quote inside of a string, and that's not what we're going for. And you cannot just give the path to the um, folder that you want the file to be copied to. We you have to rename the file, and we're just going to name the file text um, doc dot text. So basically what it will do here is it will um, copy whatever, whatever file that we open in the open file dialog to this location and call it textdoc.text. And we're going to be opening um, textdoc3.text. We're going to open textdoc3. Should have copied it into folder 1. Yep, we now have a text document inside of folder 1 called textdoc.text, and that's exactly what we called it in C-sharp right here. And since it copied it, the contents of both text files should be the exact same. And this text document reads, hi, I am Adam, so so should the text document that we copied into folder 1. Yep, they both say, hi, I am Adam. The next method that I'm going to be showing you how to use is the move method. And the move method will basically allow you to move a file, not copy it. So just like the copy method, the first string parameter that we have to pass through here is the name of the file to move or the path to the file that we want to move. And we want it to move whatever file that we open in the open file dialog. And we want it to um, move that file into um, this Atom folder right here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy um, the location of this folder. And just like before, we're going to have to double up on these backslashes. And just like in the copy method, we also have to provide a name for our moved file. So we're just going to call it text docs.text. We'll just call it something different. Alright, so now let me debug here. Let's click the button. Select our text doc. We should just move it into this uh, atom folder. Open. Now if we go into this folder right here, we see that or that file is no longer there. It should now be inside of this folder, and it's called textdocs.txt. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.